Welcome to Power Code Music. I'm Civil Allen. In this video, we're going to talk about MIDI system exclusive. What is it? MIDI stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. That is a protocol that allows electronic devices to communicate with and control each other. The original Universal MIDI standard was created by Dave Smith back in 1983. Dave Smith was the founder of a legendary California company called Sequential Circuits. Now, Sequential Circuits was primarily known for synthesizers. Now, SysX or MIDI SysX is a part of the MIDI standard that allows manufacturers to define their own specific message formats for their devices. Now, instrument manufacturers would register with the MIDI Manufacturers Association. Now, the MMA would then assign the manufacturer an ID an exclusive ID known as a SysX ID. Now, this identifies that manufacturer's device's SysX messages. ID number one went to, you guessed it, sequential circuits. Now, the Mini Manufacturers Association was established back in 1985. And the Mini standard defines a specific number for each manufacturer that has applied for an ID from the MMA. For example, a Roland device wouldn't be able to understand a Yamaha's SysX messages because that particular data is specific to that manufacturer. Now, MIDI system exclusive has an unlimited number of uses and the most popular is really loading and saving patch data and also backing up the configuration of a device. Now, back in the old days, in the late 80s and early 90s, um, you, know, you could still use uh, computers naturally to load and save this data, but you use like floppy drives and like SCSI hard drives and data cards to, to get this done. Now today we use digital audio workstations which come with software, editor library, and um, uh, uh, utilities in them that will allow you to save and load this data. Um, and usually you can also get shareware online, uh, software editor library and uh, packages aside from a data, digital audio workstation. Now, one thing that System Exclusive would let you do too is it lets you to real time control uh, patch changes to a MIDI device. That means that you can automate uh, a MIDI device uh, while you're recording or you can do it live. Now, that is really awesome. To give you an idea, if you were recording back in the late 80s and early 90s, one of the hottest things that you could do at that time was any kind of um, uh, automated mixes. Of course, the million dollar studios could do it. They had their own capabilities to do it if they could uh, at that time, they had the capability. But what MIDI system exclusive would let you do is if you were using a hardware sequencer at that time, you could automate things such as uh, volume and patch, automatic patch changes in your recording, which was hot, unheard of, and fantastic. MIDI changed my life and revolutionized the music industry at the same time. So you could do that in your home studio as opposed to going to a million dollar studio at that time, which was absolutely crazy cool. One other thing that System Exclusive, um, MIDI System Exclusive would let you do was it would um, provide data about an instrument, everything, the whole profile and configuration about an instrument, which is very awesome if you're looking to manipulate that instrument or again, for automation. It also can be used to load alternative tunings for keyboards. So again, if you're live and you're using alternative, key, uh, uh, alternative tunings for your particular instrument, you could upload it in a heartbeat and have it at your disposal. And this is done uh, for concert sets and, and you know gigs and bands. Uh, for decades. So there you have it. Another thing that System um, Exclusive will let you do is to upload and upgrade a system OS, operating system. Um, lastly, um, it can even save and load audio files, which I didn't know it could do until recently. Now this process is very slow, but System Exclusive will allow you to do it. Now, musical instruments and other MIDI devices, uh, the size and the speed of SysX messages can vary, much like a computer. So you have to take a look at your uh, manual for your device and look at how the system exclusive is implemented to know more. Another thing that's important that you might want to uh, check out is before you buy your next MIDI device, if you are shopping for a, any MIDI device, 
go to the manufacturer's website, download the manual. Now, MIDI system exclusive information, the specifications are usually in the back of the manual. So go to the back of the manual and check out the MIDI SysX feature set as to what that device can do. That could be the big difference in which device you buy. You never know. One last thing you wanna do also is, most of us have MIDI devices in our studio. It's a, pretty much a normal thing. Pull out your manual, go to the back again at the uh, specification section, take a look and see what your devices can do. You might be missing out on some powerful features that could take your music project to the next level. That about wraps it up. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to hear your comments, so click on the comments section and leave us a comment. On your screen right now, click the subscribe button and join our group. We have new videos coming out every week. And while you're here at the channel, take a look at some of the other videos and let me know what you think. Thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you soon.